What up guys, it's Fanservice Renji, and let's talk about the ugly side of cosplay and conventions. We can't keep acting like the cosplay scene is totally innocent anymore. In no particular order, let's get started. The drunks. It's pretty common to see people drinking at conventions these days, but some people take it way too far. They are drunk from the moment they arrive to the moment they leave. Drunks don't make the best decisions. Some drunks get loud, some drunks fight, some drunks break stuff, but the classy drunks piss and poop all over the dance floor at the rave at your favorite convention. Underage drinking. What's worse than a regular adult drunk? An underage drunk. When a minor gets caught drinking, everybody gets in trouble. Drugs. I see and smell a lot of people smoking weed. It's pretty common, but what surprised me was seeing convention goers doing old people drugs. I was at a room party and a dude literally busted out a line of coke. I was like, damn, what's next, opium? I'm not here to judge. I'm not a dare officer. What people put in their body is their business. My concern is when somebody tries to drug somebody else. Oh, it's totally messed up, but I know a lot of people that have either been roofied or know someone that has been roofied at a con. I can testify to that because I myself have been a victim of being roofied at a con. Somebody drugged my drink and I totally blacked out. One moment I was at a party with friends. The next moment I woke up at a hotel down the street with no idea how I got there. Needless to say, it was pretty terrifying. Just make sure you be careful guys. Always let someone know where you are at a con, especially if you're going out after dark. Statutory rapist. Sad to say, there's a lot of grown ass adults hitting on a lot of young ass cosplayers. Some want to play naive and act like they didn't know he or she was underaged. I mean, if it was that hard, it only takes a couple seconds to ask how old someone is or check their ID. If you have to ask, she's probably too young for you, bro. Here's a better one. If her first Pokemon choices weren't Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle, chances are she's probably too young for you, bro. Then there's the people that really don't even care. Man, she's so hot, but she's only 15. Oh, it's okay. I'll just be her friend until she turns 18, and then I'll try to hook up. No, 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 no. That does not work. At the end of the day, you're still fantasizing about hooking up with a 15-year-old. This person is not a sexual object that you can just put on layaway. This person is not a video game that you can pre-order and wait to play it later. Pervy photographers. These are the guys that take pictures of your tits, ass, and occasional upskirts when you aren't looking. They also like to pull you aside for a private photo shoot. At first it starts out innocent, but as the shoot goes on, all the poses start getting a little more provocative and a little more sexy. Then there are the ones that are really brave. They try to guilt you for sexual favors in return for their photo services. You're so pretty. I get so hot and bothered every time we shoot. Maybe you can help me with that because you know, since I never charge you for photos and all. That was an actual quote from a pervy photographer that got called out last year. I'm sorry. Just cause you got a nice full frame camera and a lens that costs your six month salary, cosplayers aren't waiting in line to jump on your dick. Sexual harassment. What's a major con without fangirls and fanboys hitting on you until you feel uncomfortable? I don't know what it is about being in cosplay that makes people want to confess all the sexual things they want to do to the back of your knee or the crease in your elbow. People will ask you for pictures and hugs just so they can touch you. Most of the time it's pretty innocent, but always be ready for that one creep trying to cop a feel. Definitely be on high alert if you ever go to one of the raves, dances, or after parties. Make eye contact with the wrong person, and they are definitely going to be humping and grinding on you all night. Stalkers. People will definitely follow you around the con, because some people just don't get the hint that you're done interacting with them. Always follow your gut instincts. If you catch a bad vibe when interacting with someone, keep it short and just keep it moving. You don't have to feel bad for not giving someone your contact information, even if it's just Facebook or Instagram. There's nothing worse than someone following your newsfeed religiously just so they can show up at the next event you show up at. Cosplay critics. Even when you don't ask for feedback, there's always a handful of people ready to give you their expert opinion on your cosplay. As annoying as it is, most of the time, it's a super fan of the character that doesn't even cosplay that wants to tell you how to cosplay. The elitist. Gotta love the cosplay. Players that think their poop don't stink just because they got some kind of social media following. 
They proclaim themselves cosplay royalty and only associate with other popular cosplayers. Well, that is unless you know someone more popular than them, then they upgrade themselves to the ladder climber cosplayers because then they're gonna climb you as a ladder to get to your more popular friend in hopes that it will make them more popular. Cosplay bullies. It pains me to say this, but it's the honest truth. The biggest bully that a cosplayer has to face today is another cosplayer. This community has become so toxic to its own people, we pick on each other all the time. As soon as there's the slightest speck of dirt on anyone's name, that cosplayer becomes the community's number one most wanted villain. Half the time, there's not even any proof of why this person's being hunted. Someone just puts up a post saying, hey, this person's a bad guy, and hundreds of people rally to the rescue and destroy this person. This witch hunting mentality really needs to stop, guys. We're so much better than that. Sorry to drop so much negativity on you guys in this video, but it's a discussion we need to have. I just wanted to make this video to educate the next generation of cosplayers while also reminding the current generation of cosplayers of some of the issues we face on a daily basis. Cosplay has changed so much in the past few years, but that doesn't mean we still can't enjoy it like how we used to. There's just more toxic things to be mindful of, that's all. The cosplay community is still a very safe and friendly place to be. Now before you go curl up in fetal position and quit cosplay forever, let me say this. Cosplay is our kingdom. It's the place we call home. Let's defend this castle together and keep each other away from harm. I'm Fanservice Renji and I'll see you guys next time.